what is going on guys welcome back to the channel it is the kefalos here and today we are going to be continuing our playthrough of mass effect 3 here on the channel so as usual folks if you guys are going to enjoy it you know what to do leave a like in this video hit that big red subscribe button down below i'll be grateful and appreciate your support but most importantly you won't miss a single one of these episodes that i'm currently churning out on the channel right now so yeah with all that being said let's just quickly jump right back into it and uh, let's start up with uh, what we're going to do today so um what we what we're well what i'm planning to do today at least is basically uh we are going to be taking a look at some of the side quests that we received from the previous missions and um i believe we're going to acquire a couple more as well so we're going to go ahead and do this before we start up sir cash i believe we can do this after starting up sir cash but um i just prefer to do it before so what that means is uh, if you take a look at the email here um just a quick one um i said i was gonna check the email uh, more often the email terminal so yeah this is uh, one of the particular instances we're doing so um you can see that we have a couple of uh, stuff here like uh, some something from aria and uh for those of you who don't know who this aria person is um you guys will want to hang around and maybe um, see for yourselves or uh, possibly check out Mass Effect 2, my Mass Effect 2 playthrough preferably. <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't matter. Um, you can go check out anywhere uh, on YouTube and uh, just find out who is Arya and uh, what is she about. So yeah, pretty much we're probably going to be doing um, these... Uh, um, these missions today I think that's the direction of today's episode so what I did was I actually took the uh, took the liberty of uh, flying back to the Citadel so here we are um, I believe we were just somewhere over here in the previous episode somewhere over here in the Petra Nebula um, I decided to take the liberty of heading back to um, the Citadel system first and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna enter orbit and hopefully um, Oh wait, sorry. Uh, I was hoping there was going to be a cutscene. I believe there was going to be a cut. I believe there is going to be a cutscene. Um, it should play after this. Let me just uh, have a try. Um, okay, we're going to suck Alliance docks first. Normandy, we are transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Figures. Finally back in action. The Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes, ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? No, thank you. I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. I like how, I like how Joker was so gutsy and all, and all of a sudden it's uh, it's like <laughs> he became so scared when uh, there was when when he found out there was a concierge at the other end. Um, all right, so we're back on the Citadel. Let me just double check if we can uh, speak to anyone. Um, I believe it should unlock more places to go. There we go. So we have five in total that we can visit. We're gonna go and do all five. Um, let's start with possibly heading down to, um, well, since we're in uh, uh, docking bay D24, we have the ability to speak to Miranda. We're going to go ahead and do that. Um, let's see, where is she viewing deck? She should be over there. There she is. All right. So we're going to speak to Miranda. She's also a character, um, that we met in Mass Effect 2. Um, now, and she's here to see us, I believe. So yeah, let's just speak to her. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. I'm all right. We'll figure out some way to even the odds. We have to. Everybody has a weakness. Even the Reapers. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <sighs> Not surprising. Shepard? There's... Something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. 
What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No, he doesn't. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. <laughs> All right, so that was uh, Miranda, and uh, yeah, basically she's uh, like I said, a recurring character from Mass Effect 2. Um, you'll want to speak to her often. Um, yeah, I know some of you out there who might be uh, watching this while they play Mass Effect 3, or even um, while they play Legendary Edition. It should have the same, uh, you know, the same function and uh, whatnot, yada yada. Um, yeah, for those of you out there who are playing along, you'll want to speak to her often whenever you can. That's because it's going to be important to do this if you want her to survive for um, this entire game. Uh, giving away a bit of a spoiler here, but I feel it's important so that you guys uh, aren't heading into this one uh, blind and you guys know what to do. So, yeah, if you want her to survive, you're going to have to speak to her often. If you don't want her to survive, just ignore her. <laughs> All right. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are actually going to head down to... Let's see. Let's see. Um, I think we're gonna head to the, um, we're gonna head to probably Huerta first, because if I am not mistaken, we received the, um, email from Caden that we should go and visit him, um, and I believe we can speak to another former squad mate down in uh, Huerta as well, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna proceed there real quick, um, let's start with, um, there we go, Huerta, alright, so... Yeah, it's, uh, you know, like I said, th you know, this segment is not really ne necessary. Not really sure if I men mentioned this, but it's not really necessary to go and speak to your squad mates. I just like to do it because... Uh, Alright, thanks AI. So as I was saying, I'll just like to do it because uh, I, I, I want to make sure everyone survives heading into, um, you know, the end of this game. And at the same time, there's going to be a reason I want everyone to survive. Um, I'm going to be dealing with that later on in the series as well. So if you, are, you know, if you're playing along or you're joining us, um, yeah, you, 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 you'll definitely see me do certain things. Uh, there is a reason for it and I'll, hopefully I'll get, I'll get the chance to explain to you what's, uh, what, is, what is it all about. But... Um, for now, the first thing that we're going to speak to is, um... Oh, okay, alright. Alright, alright, I remember what this is. So this doctor here uh, coincides with the quest for, um, I believe this thing. Um, alien Menagel formula. Um, I believe we have to pass it to her or something. So yeah, let's just talk to her and hopefully we're going to solve a problem. I found this Metagel formula. Figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. Yep. Alright, so that's uh, one little side quest done. It should be cleared now if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is cleared. So with that being said, uh, we're going to speak to this guy over here. His name is Fane. If you recall, we had, joined, we, we had him along in Mass Effect 2 as well. Very, very uh, nifty little, not lift, not not little. Very nifty guy. Very, um, you know, very, very, very decent uh, squad mate to have overall. Uh, it's a shame that we can't have him in this uh, particular game. Uh, but it, there's a reason for that. So, um, you know what? Let's just speak to him and find out what the, what what reason that is. <clears throat> Commander Shepard, when I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? 
Visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic in intensive care. <coughs> I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. He seems an honorable sort. Your enemies may try to finish him off here. I will look out for him. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness, and that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time. But it is mine. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. Alright, so that was Thane. Um, <laughs> that was a very, very sad, uh, sad, sad exchange there. Um, he was a very good squad mate in Mass Effect 2. And I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, he's suffering some sort of, uh, um, I don't know, some sort of tumor or something in his brain. And um, yeah, he, he, he's dying. But um, pretty much we got to ca catch up with him. It's very important that you catch up with him if you're playing Mass Effect 3 or um, Legendary Edition. It's very important that you do so because uh, um, there's going to be a point in the story later on. Um, well, it, it's, it, there's going to be a point in your story later on that uh, ties into you know whether Thane survives and survives Mass Effect 2 and also there's gonna be a factor from um, you know from your from from a decision in Mass Effect 1 so yeah it's very very important that you keep him alive if you can um, I'm not gonna mention why I'm not gonna say anything but um, trust me if you're playing the original trilogy or legendary edition um, I highly suggest you try to keep him alive uh, heading into Mass Effect 3 it might be a bit too late now if you're watching this but um, you know it's 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 just uh, the way it's just um that i managed to keep him alive and uh yeah i'm very glad he's here so anyway um what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on um let's see all right so we have this uh, some sort of argument here between the visitor and receptionist um you can easily d uh, settle this um dispute if you want to we're just gonna bypass it for now it's not really too important it doesn't really uh um reward you anything i believe it just gives you a couple of uh you know experience points um i'm not gonna make the decision yet i'm probably gonna come back and review it later i need to listen up to what they uh what either side says but uh, we'll probably do that later um what we are gonna do is we are gonna do this quest now this quest if i'm not mistaken you pull up the journal um is related to this one citadel biotic am interfaces um this is the biotic app that we picked up from grissom academy in the last mission and um i believe all we have to do is we're just gonna have to hand it to this asari right here i overheard you talking grissom academy is gone but i found this while i was there what is this yes these are tailored to human physiology but with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. All right, cheers. So that is uh, that quest done. <laughs> and what we're going to do now is I believe we're going to speak to Caden. He should be in here. And looks like Udina is in here as well. That's interesting. Um, let's see what they want. I'd like an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you. No more than ever. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. 
I look forward to it. Shepard? Udina? Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. No problem. What did Udina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? It was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell them. I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I mean, Doc... Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. You doing okay? My implant got a little... rattled. So Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're gonna be okay. Thanks. You almost died on my watch. It was horrible to see. I want you to be straight with me then. So I just want to make sure, after Mars, after Horizon, you and me, we're good. We've been through hell together, at each other's backs. That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listened, too. We went through Asher's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? Are we good? We're good. It was great to have you back on the Normandy. Thanks. Feel like we've cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but... I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. Alright, so that's a little chat with Caden. And whoa, that was a weird teleport up there. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much that's that. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess uh, we're just going to move on now. Um, the next place that we want to go and visit is actually... Let's see, let's see. Where the hell do we want to go? Um... Okay, I think where we're gonna go first is we're probably gonna go to we're probably gonna go to the docks, the holding area. Um, or do we leave that for the next episode? We're actually running out of time. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave that for the next episode. Um, we need to speak to a couple more people just to get their thoughts, uh, get their um, you know, trigger a few side quests or so. So yeah, I foresee us probably um, you know, doing the next uh, you know, two or three episodes here on the Citadel. I know it can be a bit boring for some of you, you know, just to move around and just you know. Uh, speak to characters and stuff like that um but i feel it's important i feel it's very very important that uh, you know we play mass effect for what it essentially is which is basically an rpg game and uh being an rpg game we're gonna need to you know interact with people um communicate uh, basically uh, just, just just try to try to acquire as many quests as we can and complete as many of them as we can obviously so i think that's possibly the direction that we want to go down so yeah um like i said if you're playing along with mass factory uh, if you're playing along with me in mass factory or maybe even the old, in original trilogy it should uh, sorry legendary edition um it should be you know hopefully this guide helped you hopefully you guys learned a couple of things a couple of things or two but uh, regardless like i said we're running out of time so i'm just gonna leave it here so if you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, mass factory you know what to do leave a like on this video hit that big red subscribe button down below so you don't miss when i upload the next episode here on the channel and with all that being said this is kevlo signing off and i hope to see you guys in the next one peace